Okay, so let's start the second draft. I don't even know how I have a draft token, but apparently I do. Oh, probably from the, uh, the battle pass. <coughs> no idea what I get as rewards. I'm just doing it. Anyway. First draft was four and three. My two... Two of my game losses were to mana screw. The one was a color screw. The other one was just me keeping a two lander and not drawing a third land and five cards. So it is what it is. Probably should have gone 17 land as opposed to 16, I think. Overall, can't complain too much. Let's see where, where we're at. Okay, I like Crater's Claws. It's just a removal spell. I don't remember this being good. Not the card I want to first pick. Not good. Including Mandrills is okay if we're going that archetype. I, actually, I don't even think it's okay in this. Aerostorm is a removal spell. I'd rather take the Crater Claws. It's just more versatile. Uh, Master of the Way isn't exceptional. This guy's okay. Savage Punch is removal. Green, red puts me into Teamer or Teamer, right? Red, blue, green. That's the only combination that red and green are in. This is the only card that I really see is the Mistfire Weaver. Let's take the Saltwater Cliffs and hope for the best. None of those cards were exceptional. It seems like the card quality in this is a lot lower than I remember when I actively played it. Aerostorm's looking good. This guy... The common ones aren't anything special. He's just not good. This guy can't be blocked. He's good. I like the Aerostorm. This is... Oh, that guy's fine. Um, I like the Aerostorm. I just like having a removal. I know it's weak, but everything's weak in this set. So, Mardu, Teamer, and Jeskai. The three red combinations. Ugin's Nexus. I think this is just like a constructed card. Yeah. Horde Chief doesn't sound that bad. It's either a Horde Chief or there's Thankful Stroke. Yeah, let's go with him. <clears throat> Deflecting Palm. Deflecting Palm or another Horde Chief? Let's take the Deflecting Palm. I don't, I don't own any of these, right? Nobody does. Um, Prowess Guy is good. Weapon Master is gaining value with me. Banners are just horrible. 2-1. I like 2-1 for 1. Like, I'm not talking about, like, and a 4-3 for 4. Like, I'm not talking about, like, low power cards. <coughs> there you go. Feeder Resistance is more of a... more of a, an Abzan card. Alabaster Kirin is is very meh. I think Defiant Strike... I don't have any creatures yet, but I think Defiant Strike is probably the best card in this pack. No, you know, the Feeder Resistance is better, because it gives protection. Protection and a plus one, plus one counter. Just Guy Charm and Quiet Contemplation. That charm is the way to go. Four damage to an opponent or a planeswalker. Target creature on top of its owner's library. Creatures you control gain plus one plus one on life link until end of turn. I think that's definitely the pick. Quiet contemplation. There's also, I think, a card that overperformed, but 
Axe Proof Prowess Guy. Or the Morph. Let me take the Morph. Gives us some versatility. Uh, I'll take the Morph again. Not crazy about it, but hey, it's better than having not a creature. So, we'll see how that goes. Well, that's not exceptional. It's also not exceptional. I think we take the Pony Back Brigade and maybe see what happens. Raja Boulders probably isn't going to see play, but hey, whatever. Cranial Archive. Not so good. Let's take the Dutiful Return. Probably not playing that. Mardu Banner. I'm not crazy about the banners. Virtuous Wealth is kind of crazy, but you have to be in Sultai. More Constructive Art. Set of Drift isn't horrible, um, especially when, like, Delve cards lose value the more Delve cards you have, because there's less things to, to do, uh, like, to, to Delve away. It's like, it's, you can do it a few times, and then it's and it's great, but after that, it's not so great. So one, one set of Drift isn't going to set me back. I don't remember this card. It's probably Farn. Another card that I don't remember. We're just taking the Arrow Storm. Or the Tranquil Cove. Let's just take the Arrow Storm. Because I'm, I'm mainly, I'm white-red with Splash of Blue. Give me all the Just Guy students. Give me Seeker of the Way. That's the card I really want. I think that was in Concentar here. Empty the pits. Take on the Valley Dasher. And then these cards, I'm taking another War Chief, go with my Valley Dasher. Hey, Monastery Swift Spear, that guy's still around. Um, he's probably gonna be the pick. You know how good that card is. Or name Aspirant. It's either that or the student. I like the Aspirant better. Aspirant's uncommon too. He's got a little bit more value to him. Goblin slide. Okay, so that's that's definitely a card goes in the Jeskai theme. I need a few more spells now. Um, but yeah, he... that just makes goblins. I need to treat some new art. It's kind of weary. I'm gonna take the Weaponsmith. We'll get some high-cost spells. Weapon Master. Did I say Weapon Smith? Ugh. Again, like, none of these cards really do anything for me. I don't like this thing at all. I'm not crazy about that either. I'm gonna take the Just Sky Banner, even though I said I hate banners. Bloodfire Expert, yeah. Commenting voice is gonna be good. Can feed the clan. Oh, Butcher of the Horde. I'm going to take it. I have to see how we could switch into black if possible. I don't really have anything. I do have a pony back for creating. Because my blue is... it's... it's okay. I mean, I literally have four blue cards and a just a banner, so it's not like it's hard for me to pivot, since I'm red-white. And the cards that I really like, the Arrow Storm... Oh, most of the cards that I really like are in black. 
so. Flooded Strand gets me there. What, did I buy all Flooded Strands? I did not, I bought three of them. Um, the Horde Ambusher is really good, but I shouldn't say that. He's even, not even that good. We'll take the Flooded Strand, because that gets me something. the guy. Let's take the Defiant Strike. Let's see what I could do if I change this to black right now. Burn Away is very good. spell. Oh, I did get a Mardu banner. Nice. Uh, I have another Mardu banner. Let's take another Horde Chief. I'll just flood the ground. Ponyback Brigade. Give me Mardu cards. Bring low is another one. Another removal spell. I like the Skull Hunter. He wasn't super awesome last time, but Rugged Highland. No, that's not the right. Let's play the Bring Low. Hey, Bloodfire Caves. That gives me black manas. Ride Down is kind of an interesting card. Or do we take another arrow storm? I think we just take arrow storms. I think we just go for the burn. <clears throat> Here's all my horde ambushers. I do kind of want that. Another valley dasher or a Sadisi's pet. Let's go with a pet. Alrighty, War Shrieker, you've come back to me. Shatter, probably not gonna see play. Marty Blaze Bringer, yay. Act of Treason, that actually might make the cut. I don't think so, but we can we can dream, right? Act of Treason probably isn't that bad, especially when you have a butcher the ward in your deck. Okay, let's take a look at this mess. I'm at 45. Butcher the Horde, definitely a reason to move into this. Flooded Strand only gets me up planes. It's not like there's dual lands here. 10, 16, 17 land. I'm fine with that. My swamps, I only have three black cards. Still need to cut stuff. I don't like Mardu Banner. I'm sorry. Oh, did I have one of those? the Horde Shrieker is that good. The War Shrieker pretty much just lets you play a morph after combat. He's a 3-3 three, three for 4. Is that good? Not really. <coughs> Got a lot of removal. Family Dasher just not up to standards. I don't like the Act of Treason. Got Feet, Horde Ambusher... Got a lot of Horde Chiefs. Got a lot of removal. To controller. Okay. Let's see how many people I can kill with Deflecting Palm. Okay. I'm um, zero and zero. Let's see how Mardu does. Butcher of the Horde is uh, is really powerful. Um, I ran into it when I was playing uh, Abzan in draft number one, and I lost to it. I don't feel my opponent understood how powerful it was. He didn't. I don't think he used it correctly, but he was he was on the he was ahead as it was. Sand's fine. I'm gonna play the CDC pet on three and the Horde chief on four, attacking with the pet. 
Um, assuming nothing else happens. So, see, see where we're at. <coughs> Excuse me. Show him some white. Some sweet Elish orange sleeves. I'm obviously not blocking if he attacks. You got me. This guy, get a 1-1. One, one. Now I can block his elk all day. Like I said, this doesn't... Maybe if he gets something, it'll get him ahead, but I don't think so. Raid's a good mechanic. It, uh, obviously, it's come back. Oh my god. Really? You just really did that? I'm all about this. <clears throat> Force away. I would have hit the morph, maybe. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what he's got. I know what I got. I got two arrow storms. Two more ascendancy. Just control of haste. I'm just battlefield draw a card. Sounds good. <clears throat> Play this face down. See, I hope he has some kind of monster. I want a deflecting on him. Show me. I don't even know. He's <coughs> got seven mana. You could just drop anything. Okay. You gonna attack me? He's not gonna attack, there's no way. Oh, it's any target. I should have just shot his head. So bad at this game. Not impressed. something. But what, I don't know. Rex Kenobi, he's probably a Star Wars Rebels fan. Or a Star Wars fan in general. All turning sideways.
I guess he does have blue mana. I was going to say, he can't counter this, but I guess he can. Oh, that is Angel Stroke. He got me. Play the student. <coughs> ah, the old Highland game. So I can cast a Deflecting Palm as an instant to trigger Prowess, it doesn't care if it's my turn, it just gives me an effect. Not that it matters, he's gonna gain two life from this Highland game dying. There's another one where, um... We talk about, like, power levels on cards, like, the fact that there's just a 2-1 in blue for two, and then there's Highland game in green that is a 2-1 for 2 that, when it dies, you gain 2 life. Like, <coughs> again, I don't want to say it's... If you target, you're going to get two. It fights creature you don't control. Okay, so it'll be a 3-2 against my 2-3. So I cast a Deflecting Palm. This guy dies, and he takes a bunch of damage. And I hold my swamp because I don't want him to know that I'm. I've got a land. And that's it. He doesn't have anything. That was his play. I mean, he was trying to two for one me, but deflecting, <laughs> deflecting palm, blowing him out. Okay, I'm one and zero. Yeah, I had the Crater's Claws. That would have been a cool way to finish him. Just, like, throw some fire at your head. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to be sick for the next six months, so... Fortunately, deal with me coughing. <coughs> Jeffrey, 135. I've got all my colors, and I have a morph. Let's do this. And I have Goblin Slide and a card that I can guess with it. Let's go. <coughs> Goblin Slide's kind of... Like... It's too... There's better cards that make token creatures in Constructed Magic. So I understand why it never saw play. But like, this this was like low-key. Like, this card's silly. Very silly. It's especially doubly silly when I have, um... <clears throat> well, dang. Um... I'll just do this, and I wait. Because next turn I can have a morph and define. Oh, feet of resistance. I don't want a morph. I just want to play... Um, a spell. Okay. Okay, we don't flip. On teamer. And I guess he had to be when he's playing red green. <laughs> so even other there's only five color combinations. Red green is <coughs> teamer. If he attacks, I just let it in. It's not at the end of the world. Mm 
Yeah, but he's not going to attack. So silly. Mardu or Chief, don't sleep on this guy. Fine, so he could flip the Mardu one, which I don't think was very powerful. Okay. <sighs> Just play the Kieran. <laughs> I've got so many creatures that triggering the raid on the Horde Chief is not. Not, not gonna happen. <clears throat> Cast your disdainful stroke, buddy. Or not. I wanna say he's got a removal spell, but I don't know what it is. Like the bring low, or he could be morphing this guy right now. Um, but I don't care. I'm at 21 and I have a 1-1 one -one that can block if it has trample. Like, even if it has trample, I don't care. Okay. Like I said, I don't I don't know what's going on here. Because he's not in a color with a wrath effect. <coughs> so <coughs> Okay. Other creatures of triumphal. Sure. he himself does not have trample. He's going to get blocked by a warrior all day long. Fine prowess. Crater's Claws. So you think we just all in? Whoops, I forgot to hit the Mardu War Chief. War Chief. That's pretty silly. Whoops. I am so bad. You should have taken one more damage. I don't think it would have been the end of it. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I definitely did screw up. I guess it depends on also how he attacks and what he does here. <clears throat> I was like, he honestly can't even attack. Six five. Okay, there. I think this is a morph. I 
If he decks with a morph now, I block with a horde chief. <laughs> Trample, Vigilance, Lifelink, or Haste. Okay. So I play that guy. Not trample though. Six, twelve, eighteen. Who's the tag? Eighteen plus. We'll sack the... We'll give him lifelink. I should have attacked with a Kieran. I don't know what I'm doing. If I lose this game, it's because I screwed up. I'm just not thinking right now. So he doesn't give him haste, does he? Yeah. Yeah, there's the fight on my Alabaster Kieran, so... <clears throat> That's another one that I messed up. Thirteen, nineteen, and a box. Yeah, you got me. I I would have been dead anyway, but I I screwed up. Made two major errors that game. So the other mayor was not drawing a land. <laughs> <laughs> 